this is the house boy 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 you know looking back now i hate jamie god i just hate it so my first customer never forget him he was a mexican never knew his name never asked for his name the exchange was forty dollars i was upstairs i had on I had on a yellow shirt, with pink leggings, and they had holes all over them. You know, they cut holes in my shirt. They cut a V-neck in my, my shirt. And, you know, they kind of tied up the sides of my shirt like a straight slut, actually. And they put me in some really, really, really high heel shoes, you know, high, high heel shoes. He said, well, I'll give you the money, but I still want my service. I said, okay. So I took the money. And I brought it back downstairs and he snatched it up my hand and said, now go, go, go. I, said, I went back upstairs and I gave him an hour of service. And when he left, I came back downstairs. I took a shower. I came back downstairs with my towel. And they said, you know, they put their hands on me. They said, what are you doing? You was up there for an hour for 40 freaking, for $40, you know. You supposed to, what, give him like 15 minutes for $40? Jennifer's like, you are so dumb, you know. You can't even be a hooker. That's how dumb you are. Like, you're never going to be nothing. If you can't even be a hooker, what the hell are you going to be? And, it, you know, it broke my heart because I really felt dumb. The $40 went to cocaine. She didn't give me nothing. She gave me a pack of cigarettes. That was it. We put shorts, not even long, you know. And it was just a sad day. My first time ever doing it. I felt dirty, violated, and used and abused.